Welcome back to Artificial Intelligence episode 2. Today we will learn all about AI. Are you excited, Mariam and Fatima? Yes, inshallah. So, what is the subject today? Do you remember? So far we covered, let's see, let's go to, um, we covered what is artificial intelligence. In the last session we covered what is artificial intelligence. Today uh, we will go to um, is machine learning same as AI? That's why that's where we stop. If you remember, right? Yes. Okay. Is machine learning same as artificial intelligence, Fatima? No. Can you tell why it's not same? Um, it's kind of the same thing as AI, but um, it's when the machine is learning. Okay. Maria, any idea? Is machine learning same as AI? Yeah, as Fatima said, I think it's um, it's like part of it, so people sometimes use it interchangeably. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, in a lot of times, uh, we see that machine learning and AI, these two terminology, used interchangeably, but in reality, they are not exactly the same. And we, you will learn in a second what is machine learning. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, this is basically the summary. Uh, if you, I mean, in the next few slides, we're gonna in the next few uh, classes, we'll talk about machine learning, deep learning, generative AI. So, just in brief, artificial intelligence is the overarching superset of everything. Like, think about the, the big circle. If I draw, draw around everything, that's artificial intelligence. And then within that, there is a small circle which is basically machine learning. As you can see, machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. Okay, so um, let's go to the um, slide where we talked about machine learning. So what is machine learning then? Machine learning is a capability that involves prediction and decision making based on a large amount of data. So you can think about it as a very sophisticated statistical model, right? Statistical model. You know statistics, right? My name is statistics. So it's basically a very complex statistical model. In this case, machine can predict based on the data that you provide to the machine, right? So like you mentioned before, in a conventional case, you write a code and then it does something. But in this case, machine is continuously running based on the information we provide, right? And as you can see, there are different types of machine learning. One is supervised machine learning and then the other one is unsupervised machine learning, semi-supervised machine learning and reinforced machine learning. From just the name, can you guess like what could be the differences? Supervised meaning it requires human intervention, right? It, 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 it requires human oversight, right? So in this case, let's say uh, when uh, you provide a large amount of that data you know, to the machine, in this case, the data has to be kind of supervised. In the supervised data supervision means you have to label the data. Choose what data. Yeah, exactly. What kind of data it is. You, give, you have to like label the data. Okay, this data are for this purpose. This data is for a different purpose. That's why it is supervised machine learning. And then unsupervised, of course, that's opposite to supervised. You don't need any human interaction, any human supervision. The machine automatically um, you know, learning uh, from the data that you provide. And semi-supervised, any idea? Half between. Yeah, it's basically basically in a, in, a, in a mix. In some cases, the data will be supervised, and in the other cases, the data will be unsupervised. And reinforced machine learning is basically a little bit interesting because in this case, you have a feedback loop, right? Uh, you, you give a set of data, and then based on that, that, so it's basically grading. Your data is graded by the machine, and then it actually improves uh, as, as you go because it is a feedback. So you, 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 you kind of provide some data and based on that it, it makes some prediction. If it is wrong, then it will refine it, right? That's why it is reinforced machine learning. Clear, Fatima? So one thing, uh, like, you know, the L, the let learning, we are talking about learning, the letter L, ML, we, we, we call it, machine learning is what, ML? Fatima, can you say what is ML? Machine learning. Yeah. So L, the letter L is coming for learning because machine is continuously learning. Clear? So machine learning still is a subset of artificial intelligence, but uh, in this case, it is making prediction, decision based on the huge amount of data that you, you provide. One interesting aspect I want to uh, tell about machine learning, the more data that you provide, what will happen? The, it is likely, yeah, it is likely the machine will 
predict more accurately, right? That's very uh, important. Uh, precision and accuracy. Yeah, precision and accuracy will depend on the amount of data you provide. If we only it's give like, like kind of uh, when we did like chemistry and we did some lab experiments, like the more data we get and the more we do it, then obviously the more accurate our data. Yeah, will be. exactly. Same thing. Like if you give only. Um, two sets of data, then likely you're gonna predict something. But if you give like 20 sets of data, then definitely the prediction will be much better. So now we, we understand what is machine learning, right? This way, right? Mm -hmm. No, the other way. Okay. Okay. The next is deep learning. Do you wanna know about deep learning today, or should we? Uh, Let's leave it for episode three. Episode three. Okay, we can leave it for episode three. So then assignment for both of you, Mariam and Fatima. Learn a little bit about deep learning, but I'll give you one yeah, case. I know. Neural networks were originally inspired by the brain. brain. It's like brain. <laughs> you have to really study how the brain works and then we'll talk about that. See you next time on episode 3 of Artificial Intelligence. Thank you so much.